Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys aren't new to the channel, I incended Steve, and I did not actually know that that was scratched until I just sat here, which doesn't really bother me too, too much, but it is what it is. So today, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a build that is completely different from me. You guys have never seen me, number one, complete a video or a build in one video um, from purchase to completion. It's already done, sitting right here behind me. And number two, I've never actually done what I did to this vehicle, to a vehicle. So you're going to see two different parts. Um, I think I'm going to put the, I'm going to build, I'm going to make a separate video uh, of the install of the actual part that's on it now um, for you guys. But I want you to see this video now, and then I'm going to make a completely separate video that you don't have to watch if you don't want to, but it will be an install video of what we did. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope that you guys enjoy the new me. Um, I know a lot of it is a little bit hard to do. I know I kind of went MIA for like 30 days, uh, 28, 29 days. I didn't make a single video, but I had to, had a bunch on my mind. I had to take some time for myself and uh, I want to start completing things. So some of the other things I've done uh, in that time frame are complete now and uh, I'm excited. I'm just glad to be feeling fresh, feeling energized and being in a good position that I'm in now. So without further ado, roll the footage of the Tahoe build. Love it. And I need to shave. Roll the footage. Oh, I also wanted to say too, I did lose a significant amount of footage. So you have to bear with me on a bunch of things uh, for the next couple of videos. Uh, the next couple of videos that you see are going to kind of look like they're missing a bunch of things. And it's because my computer got wet and I lost some footage, but we're working on recovering it. So with that being said, now we can roll the footage. How many of you guys and girls are scared of snakes? I calmed this one down. Um, now, I don't usually try to play with him. He's pretty calm now at this point. He's not looking to fight. He just wants to get on and move. But, uh, yeah. He was definitely curled up in a little bit of an engine area. And uh, scared the shit out of me, if I have to be honest. But he's moving on. Black snakes are usually pretty good, so I don't have to kill him. I just need him to get out of my shop. Oh, yeah, he's not aggressive at all anymore. No, don't go over there. Don't go in the... Go to the woods. To the woods. See, he really wants to go back in the shop, and uh, he's not allowed in there anymore. I'm gonna have to relocate this one like far, far away because I think he keeps coming back. We're sending people back. Stand by. all right guys and girls well as you know i am very very scatterbrained and with the denali being broke i sort of just jumped on marketplace and i found a vehicle the guy drove it here i just was only one person and uh we made a purchase so now we're gonna take this back to the shop and then we'll go get my denali and then we'll figure out what's going on with the actual denali but we got another purchase and uh i guess i'm okay with it can't go wrong with two of them right Well, today is the day I introduced you to the Tahoe project, and uh, I don't really know what we're going to do with it. So I ended up buying this truck. Um, I got a fairly good deal on it. I don't want to say I got a killer deal, but I needed a vehicle, and uh, this was on Marketplace. So I bought it. Um, by the time I'm done fixing all the little odds and ends, as, as you can tell here, like the fender is completely rusted out. The headlight was busted here. Um, the rest of the truck's actually in fairly decent shape. Obviously, the hood has some clear coat issues. Um, but the rest of the truck, other than the front fenders, just seem to be in bad shape. So I'm going to see if I can get another fender. 
Uh, the place I got the other fender, I did have this one, but I didn't know how good this fender was. And when I looked at pictures, I didn't notice any of the stuff up here. So I'll probably just go get that other fender. But the rest of the truck's absolutely in really good shape, actually, uh, for what it is. So I think what we're going to do is make this like my backup family truckster. As you can tell here, it is an LTZ. Um, don't mind my stuff in it because obviously I've been using it. But it is in really good shape. Obviously, it has a TV like the Denali does has third row, has all the accommodations that I need um, to have a backup vehicle. So I think I might just end up keeping it and using it as a family vehicle. Um, I did end up getting this emblem here. That is actually, I think in the center console. Yeah, in the center console. So I've got a good badge for it. I just went ahead and started getting everything to clean this thing up. Um, but by the end of this video, I think we're gonna go ahead and just lower it and uh, make it into something a little bit different, a little bit more unique. So without further ado, um, it's probably gonna be like a week from now because I ordered the uh, drop spring spindles and everything uh, yesterday. So it's gonna be a little bit, but stand by. And uh, when the parts get here, we'll get this on the lift and get it lowered. Diesel would like his moment to shine here during the Tahoe build. So uh, we went ahead and these are 275, 55, 20s. I went ahead and sourced to 55, 50 20s as you can see right there and uh, obviously it's a brand new tire um, these tires only have like 10,000 miles on them but I went ahead and find found them they're going to be a little bit shorter than the factory tire that is on this thing because obviously you guys know by now we are going to lower this so I did order a lowering kit here and uh, it should actually be here in the next like two weeks I don't know when I'm going to get to lowering it so what I think I'm going to do is lower it probably two inches the way that we all know I know how. Is it the right way? No, but you guys know I have to lower it that way first. Um, one of the other reasons why I want to lower this thing is because I do need front shocks in it. They are actually leaking. Uh, the strut assembly is actually like really, really leaking, as you can tell by the ground there. Um, it literally is dripping, as you see. Um, that plate is disgusting. Up top there is obviously leaking as well and same as this side here the uh, shocks are definitely in uh, pretty bad shape on this the rest of the truck actually looks fairly good and fairly decent and uh, actually i don't want to say but it kind of looked better than my yukon so we're going to go ahead and keep this thing around for a little bit i think i'm going to go ahead and sell the girlfriend's car and uh she'll end up driving this and then we'll have two uh, eight passenger vehicles in the family instead of just one so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and I think what I'm gonna do when I go ahead and lower this is just cut like one coil off. Um, I know it's not the right way to do it, but until the shocks and everything get here and the kit gets here, I do wanna see what this thing looks like. So we'll cut probably one coil off right here. Um, and then on the back, we'll do the same. We'll probably just go ahead and cut a coil uh, from what's already broken. As you can tell right there, it's already broke off, but we'll probably cut another coil off of this and then lay, lay that down. Um, so yeah, so again, this thing is actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, minus like that little spot right there the rest of it's actually pretty good no real issues and uh, again i want to get this thing detailed cleaned up and ready to rock and roll i'll probably get new rotors too um obviously the person never towed with it uh typically that's why you see that on these chevy models when they're discs in the rear is the person just doesn't tow with it so they don't get used as much um it doesn't mean the caliper is bad it just means the brakes don't get worked that hard um so if you do see rotors like this on like the older shed or these like 07 to 14 trucks it's honestly it's not a big deal it's just because they don't have a lot of weight and it probably was never used for anything crazy so um we'll get new rotors for it but without further ado let's get this thing i guess lowered you can see that one's broken too look right there can you guys see it without my pen light being so bright look at that there you go now you can see it's broke off same with the other side which is weird i don't think i've ever seen one of these broken but uh, again, it is what it is. All right, let me get the tires on and then we'll start lowering it. And uh, the hood should actually be back by the time you guys see this video. So you'll see it with the hood on, fender on, and this thing actually looks pretty good. There you have it. So there's the uh, old tires here. There is the new ones and you can see a significant size difference. At least I can. Like if you look from here, look out that side wall, look at that side wall. So it's definitely gonna lower the car again, probably about an inch. Uh, just in overall tire size and then we're gonna go ahead and lower All right, sorry. So I've been using my phone here to record lately because the GoPro absolutely sucks. So um, I don't really 
basically what happened, long story short, is I set my phone up and it fell over. So I gotta get a, I'm gonna have to get some sort of stand. Uh, but I went ahead and cut these to where I think it should be good, about a coil and a half. That should be about a three and a half, four inch drop in the rear. This one was already broken, as you can tell by the bottom. Um, and again, this one was also broken, as you can tell by the bottom. So it is what it is. I'm kind of glad we're doing this. And again, this is not the right way to do it. We do have a kit coming, but for now, I just want to see what it looks like because I'm impatient and I have a free day because I'm waiting on parts to arrive for, yeah. So anyway, let's keep going and uh, see what we can get done. Uh, well, as you can see, yes, this is sort of another reason why that shock is just completely blown and just leaking. And uh, again, the only thing and only reason I'm doing this is basically to see what it looks like. But I cut one coil completely off the top. That's how I did it. And uh, she's really leaking now. But let me go ahead and get this spring undone. Sure, I could have showed you that, but that's super simple. All I did was put the uh, uh, McPherson strut coil spring compressor on there. And then I cut it. Probably not the safest thing, but I didn't want you guys to see that anyway. But yeah, plug and chug. Get to the other side done and get it on the ground. Bam, all right, that wheel is on. That looks almost factory. Like when you look at it, you'd have no idea that I cut, and I only cut a whole coil off. I know that might sound like a lot. That should only be like a one or two inch drop, but you'd never know if you didn't watch this video that this car was on cut springs. But yes, shocks are in terrible, terrible shape here and leaky, or struts, I guess I should say. Correct me now before one of you do, but Let's go ahead and get the wheel back on this side and get it to the ground and see its new ride height. All right, well, that just looks boring. Sure, it is probably about an inch and a half, two inches shorter, but I know we can do better. So I'm gonna go in here and cut another coil out of all four corners and uh, see if we can't get a little bit more drop out of it. Um, I did go under it and it does look good angle wise. We do have a little bit more. I should probably cut half a coil out of it but as you guys do know, I'm going to go a little extreme and go a little bit more than I should and cut a full coil out. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right. Sorry, I am squinting, but the sun is ridiculously shining and bright today. But the other thing that's shining is the Tahoe. So I hope you guys are enjoying this thing. Again, the rear shocks are actually uh, bottoming out, so I can't go any lower in the rear. Um, I did order an entire kit, like I said, I think five times in the video, uh, but I did order an entire lowering kit, so it will come with new shocks and we won't have to worry about that. Um, but uh, the other thing is I have to order front struts for this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get all that ordered, but man, oh day, is this thing looking sharp. So with all of that being said, let me know in the comment section, oh, and yes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pinstripe that you see there. Um, I just haven't had time to do it. I gotta get this thing fully detailed too. Um, the interior is actually spotless. I don't even know if I showed you guys the interior of this thing. The interior is absolutely flawless. Don't mind my stuff and don't mind my copyright, but this thing is actually really clean. I'm probably going to plan to keep it for a little bit because it obviously is functioning for my family and everything. So I probably will keep it a little bit and just drive it around. Plus it probably maneuvers a heck of a lot better than the Denali does being lowered. And uh, I also want to tow the 58 to like a car show or something with this. Because I think it would just be cool to look like have the combo. Maybe I will. Uh, well, you'll see all that if I plan on doing it. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy the little montage I'm going to put together here. Comment, like, subscribe. And uh, if you stuck around this this long, uh, write something different in the comment section. Literally something different in the comment section. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one.